Hello everyone. Up next in our Power Automate tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily generate new EAN13 barcodes as PNG files using the Cloudmersive barcode connector in Power Automate. EAN13 are the most commonly used barcodes for retail point of sale, so if your business is churning out new products, it's very useful to have this tool in your arsenal. You can also use this connector in API form by copying ready to run code blocks from our API console. Let's get started. In Power Automate, click Create on the left hand side and then select Instant Cloud Flow directly after. Once you give your flow a name, click Manually Trigger a Flow, followed by Create at the bottom, and you'll move on to the Flow Design page. This flow is really quick and easy, which is great because Power Automate should be all about efficiency. Click New Step and start typing Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Below, you'll see a few Cloudmersive connectors with different colored logos. Select the barcode connector with the red logo. Once you do, you'll see a new list of connector actions. Here, the right option should be the first on your list, but if not, you can always type EAN13 and it'll come up right away. Note that to authenticate this connector, you'll be asked to provide your Cloudmersive API key at this stage. If you don't have one, you can easily create one by visiting our website, cloudmersive.com, and registering a free account. After you've input your API key, you'll need to satisfy one quick parameter here, which is just putting in your EAN13 code. I don't have a real one, so I'm just using a sample number here to show you how the barcode will be generated. Once you add in your number, you're all done with this step. For the final step in the flow, we're going to tell Power Automate what to do with the new PNG file it's creating. Click New Step, and this time type Create File into the search bar. Select the option that aligns with the application you're using to save these files. For me, that's SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option and picking my SharePoint connection from the dropdown. Directly after that, I'm going to click on the file icon and use that to find the specific folder I want to save the PNG in. Then, I'm giving my file a new name and including the PNG suffix at the end so my PC doesn't get confused. Finally, and most importantly, I'm clicking on the file content bar and selecting output content from the dynamic content window to ensure the file includes the result of the operation. It's now time to click Save at the bottom of the page and begin testing. Click Test in the upper right corner of the page, and then select the option to trigger manually. Then, click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. When the flow runs, any errors will typically become obvious within a second or two. If there weren't any errors, you'll get green check marks on the upper corner of each operation in the flow. That means it ran smoothly, and your target folder should now have a brand new PNG file containing the EAN13 barcode you created. As you can see, I now have one right here where it should be. This tool makes it easy to generate one-off barcodes in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Powered Automate tutorials in the near future.